Well, students, here's another lesson. We'll use www.sketchup.com free. In today's lesson, I want to make a napkin that's going to match your plate. And I want you to be thinking like a designer. You can use whatever color or pattern that you can capture from the internet to use as a matching napkin for your plate that you've already created. Without further ado, I'll show you how to make the napkin. So once you're on the SketchUp landing page, you move to the upper right corner, you find the little person logo, click and select my apps. Again, your, your objective is to reach SketchUp free. And I'm going to launch SketchUp. You'll see the red logo moving and you'll create new simple template feet and inches. Move to the right, you'll see model info, Make sure you go in the decimals, make sure you highlight the snap interval and change it to 0.125 on the keypad and enter to lock it in. Select the lady and hit delete to remove her. Next, I'm gonna move up to the scenes tab. It's the fourth one up and hit parallel projection. And I hit the face of the house to give myself a front view. Now I'm gonna use the pan tool to move my origin down and to the left. I'm gonna start with a rectangle. This napkin is five inches wide by one fourth inch high. So I'm gonna use a rectangle to make that shape, select the origin, move to the right and up a little. And as I see that green box, I take my hands off the, the mouse and enter five comma 0.25, which is a fourth of an inch. And then I hit enter and don't get alarmed if it's very small, you'll use your mouse wheel to zoom in. And now I want to, achieve the appearance of soft edges. So I'm going to round the left and right corners. So I'm going to use a pencil tool to make my measurements real quick. And I go to the upper right corner, select the end point in the upper left corner, and then move down halfway. It's 0.125. You can see in the length measurement box down at the bottom right. And I click. And then I'm going to return to that upper left corner, click again, and move to the right along the top line there and I see that the length is 0.125 and that's when I click a second time. So now I have two measuring lines that are, are uh, hidden there, but they're there for measurement. And now I'm going to use the arc tool. As you can see, it's the, it's the tool under the pencil and it's the second tool you want to use. Click two point arc. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel. You see my end point is there and then I move up and I find the other end point and then I push my arc until I find it turning to magenta. Once you get it to magenta, then click and lock it in. And it's a nice arc. Now I use the eraser tool. You see that little circle on the corner of the eraser? Put that on your line. And oh, it's not deleting. That's very fun. Wow. Not Hey, I got it to go. Well, that was a little bit of a glitch, but it did delete for me. Now I'm moving and I'm zooming in and I'm going to use my pencil again, click on the end point on the right and halfway down, click. And then I'm going to move back up to the corner in the upper right, click and move to the left a bit until I find 0.125 in length, click. Now I have two little measuring lines that are hidden there, but I return to the arc tool and I select one spot and two spot and look, it's magenta. So now I click and lock that arc in. Use my eraser tool to delete those little extra line segments that I don't want. And now I wanna use the orbit tool to turn my profile and use the push pull tool. I select the push pull tool. It looks like a rectangular prism with an arrow on it. Click the profile and push. And then now that it's being pushed, I just enter nine on the keypad and enter to make my napkin nine inches long. So again, it's five inches wide by one fourth inch high by nine inches long. The next step will be to insert, and I've already prepared a green decal that I wanna use as the color for my napkin. So I use those three lines in the upper left to insert from my computer. You see, I've saved it as napkin decal, select and open and use image. Use the image button. And I'll place that decal right beside 
and stretch. I clicked it once and now I'm clicking it a second time. I want to make sure that decal is large enough to cover the entire napkin. I will look at it from top view at this point and I believe it is about the right size. So now I'm going to look at it from front view. So I click the front view of the house and I actually need to select. So I'm going to go back to top view. Select. Now I look at front view and I can see, and I'll use the pan tool, see my image right there highlighted in blue. And I use the move tool because what I want to do is click on that somewhere on that line segment and move it above and direct, directly above my napkin. And it appears that I'm in a good position. I may have to adjust it down a bit just there. Now the entire decal is covering the entire napkin. So I'm going to use the orbit tool to rotate so that I can see both. And again, I like to recenter my images a bit. The key to this is first with your decal selected, you may have to use this arrow key to select the arrow, then select your decal to make sure there's a blue rectangle around that decal. Right click. Again, right click on the decal and explode. Now it's prepared to be a decal. Go to the left, you'll find the paint bucket. You wanna use the eyedropper to select your decal and then select the surfaces that you want to paint. You just select the various surfaces. And now that I rotate, I'm gonna use that orbit tool. Once again, I'm gonna to have to return to the eyedropper to select the image and then go and literally I touch the different surfaces that I want to colorize. Last time, I'm going to select the decal with my eyedropper and select the paint bucket, and, or the paint bucket changes, and then you just touch the surface and it becomes colorized. And the bottom is gray still. Now, fortunately for me, the decal is still highlighted in blue, which means I hit the delete key to remove it. I move to the right. Well, the fourth tool up is actually the scenes tool you want to hit parallel or perspective. Perspective is better for natural looking display. So I'm zooming in, as you can see, it looks very, you know, natural. So I want to move to the glasses tool on the right, it's called display. And I turn my axis off and I scroll down a little bit and see shadows on. And then I slide my decal, I'm sorry, my shadows to something that may be aesthetically pleasing. Maybe I will rotate my angle and then save. And then of course I want to save it in the SketchUp box or folder. So there you go. And I'm going to call it napkin three because I've already made a few. I want to save here. That's a very fine napkin that will match my plate. But wait, there's more. It says saved. I want to return to those three lines and export as PNG. And don't forget to hit the blue button to export it. And now you can see napkin three PNG and that file is an image file in my downloads folder. Downloads, there's napkin three, double click. Mine opens in paint. And that image is the one you want to turn in for assignment credit. I hope this video helps, good luck.